checking out the garden center across from the park. Decided the video was getting a little too long, so I needed to make it into two parts. <laughs> I'm taking some of these uh, pictures of these flowers up close and personal because I'm going to use them in future Say It, Display It backgrounds. Some of you may know I have a beautiful Jesus collection, um, and I have a Faith 3 collection, which I think pretty sure I'm out of or may I may have a couple no I think I'm out of them but they were all done with flower backgrounds so up close flowers and I just love them so let me show you a little bit more here and this is part two of the Saturday afternoon hanging out before I take off for my road trip tomorrow I love doing I love starting out road trips on a Sunday. It just kind of reminds me of a Sunday drive. I don't always do that, but that's where I'm going tomorrow. And every place, every state I'm in, I'm giving myself about two weeks and then I'll move on to the next state. So I don't know if I'll do state by state videos or if I'll do smaller clips you'll just have to subscribe click the bell you'll get updates and you'll be on the six month journey with me and I hope you will join me Linda here serene and simple life I think I will sit here at this beautiful little metal bench dedicated to the city of Franklin. Love when I see stuff like that from the citizens. Going to walk over to the um, garden center over there. Show you a little bit about that. And uh, this is part two got a little lengthy my chit chat got a little lengthy it's just as quiet as can be around here it's probably between 65 70 degree temperatures and uh, really really enjoying it so hey when I spoke of state number 45 that was talking about the lower 48 you know not 50 states like I had been talking before so that's where that number came from. Yep, let's go on over to the garden center. Food trucks and a little picnic area across from the park right over here. Go ahead on down a little further. And beautiful cemetery here. I don't know. Does anyone uh, get cemetery stones anymore? <laughs> I'm thinking I'm not budgeting for that and I'll just be uh, cremated and uh, hopefully dumped in the ocean. <laughs> and then over here, Reed's Produce Garden Center. So cool. I walked over there. Beautiful flower baskets, $35, $45. Oh my gosh, it was just my mom's birthday uh, a little bit ago. And of course, she's been in heaven since 2008. So she's gone quite a long time. Yeah, I was 50. I feel like that was way too young, although I know there's probably plenty of you who lost your mom way before that too gosh but uh, flower baskets remind me of her she was so proud of her flower baskets from Memorial Day on and, uh, uh, looking forward to having some flower baskets and having her uh, having her green thumb from heaven come down and take care of them <laughs> they'll probably be something that I will I will talk to my flowers like as if I were talking to mom. Yeah. 
show you a little sampling here. I think these are lovely. Actually, these are only $24.95. That'd be more in my price range. Mom loved her petunias. Put in the comments, are you a flower basket lover? I like these ferns too. I love the way these are hanging. You can see them, visualize them on your porch or your deck. And this one, yeah, these are the bigger, 49. Wow. Lovely. My mother would be in awe. Oh, she loved her, what are these called? Hydrangeas or something, something. <laughs> she loved those too. What are these, peonies, something? All right. I always liked impatience flowers because it kind of reminded me of me. Although I'm not the impatient sort like I used to be, which feels really good. Look at some of these delightful color combinations. This. Red and the white, but then look at this one purple with the red. Oh my gosh. One gets more beautiful than the next. I would have a hard time deciding right now. This is the time when I would need, I don't know, a second opinion. There is a father and I believe son down there on those rocks. <laughs> And he was doing, oh, he's still climbing down there. Oh my gosh. But, oh my gosh, I, my heart would have been in my throat. You know, I'm thinking I would have been holding his hand the whole time. Dad's giving him some cool freedom. <laughs> my overprotective helicopter parenting definitely would have kicked in. And, the little boy talked to me a little bit. He was talking about the fish. It was so precious. And uh, he started climbing down the rocks and dad had no qualms about it. It's like, are you sure you can go down there? And just as relaxed as can be. So, alrighty. Huh. I like seeing relaxed parents. Yeah, I was a little too worrisome. I don't know, I attribute some of that to just raising them on my own too. <laughs> and some just because of my personality, of course. Afraid that they would get hurt. There was a family up on this bridge a minute ago, so come back around here. driftwood down there. Put this freebie on your free bucket list. Go see do. Worked way up the ways there. Well, not that far. I just spent about an hour here at the bench. And I think I've got my fill of the park here now. It's been a really fun time been here I don't know maybe oh close to three hours not quite alrighty hope you enjoyed and continue on down the road with me six month road trip blessings in your day and joy in the journey. One more thing. It's the babbling brook. Beautiful stones to sit on. Even this, these beautiful stone walls. combination of traffic 
and beautiful nature. Later.